So in previous tutorial, we have seen how to use CAC page preceding. In this tutorial, I will uh, we will see how to add or remove a column for our database using migration. So let's do. So I'm opening my VS Code editor. You can see this uh, from my location, CAC, my app, my project name, and this is the bean folder, and I'm in bean folder. And you can see I have a database called tutorial, and there is lots of table. I'm I have chosen this students table. Then I will add a new column name called A's for this students table. So for that I'm going in here. We will create a migration file to create a A's field. So let's give a comment. Add, add, add uh, A's. That means field name. I'm just creating the class here. This is the class name that I'm giving here. And add A's and then to my uh, name of my table that is student. So after give uh, write this uh, command, if you hit on enter, so you can see there's nothing happened because I made it a mistake. That will be CAG back migration. Migration. Then hit on enter. You can see that a file has wrought in this location that config migration. So I'm going in here. This is the config, this is the migrations, and you can see a file add a student has created in here. So this is the add a student, the class name. So we haven't given any um, space when we have written this command. I think you have mentioned, you have focused on it. You can see that I have not given any space because it's the class name. So now if you go in here. You can see they have used a change function and you can see they have here they have used a table function or method uh, that uh, giving the students in here and this is the update method they also used. So now if you want to add a new field or new column in here so you have to just add a new method called add column. But we also able to generate it using command. I'm just removing this. I'm just going to delete it from here. Okay. So going in here again. So in this time, I'm just changing little bit uh, of my command. For example, CAG back migration add A's to field. This is the class name. Then I'm giving a space. Then I'm giving the my name. That means the field name and giving the type so this is the integer type that I want to create a A's field so if you hit on enter so now if you leave in here go in here and you can see in this time a new method has added in here called add column A's and it's the integer and you can see that has created so now if you want to add this column in your database table it is still not added so you have to give a command called CAG migrations migrate. Notice there has no any back. Okay, so it's just CAG then migrations. Migration also will be plural, and is the migrate. So hit on enter. So you can see that a field has added in here now. Oh, like look like that. So I'm just removing this a field now. And in this time, I will add two field, not single field. I will add two field. So this is the migration uh, add to students age integer that I have used. So now I let's uh, add another field. For example, first name or bank account like that. So I'm just using the first name in here. I'm changing this command. I'm changing also the class name. So add age and uh, first. Like that two students and then you can see I have given the age in here then I'm, I have to give a space then I have to write the first name first and name and in this time I'm giving a colon and it will be a string I have given this string then hit enter a file is created you can see this is my file and you can see the table students 
and the first at column age is created and second at column first name is created so now I'm just removing or delete this file and here I have two field uh, two column one is age and first name I want to add this booth in my table so I'm going in here and giving the command cac migrations migrate then hit on enter you can see go in here and this is student folder you can see the first name and also age has created so this is the simple procedure that how you can add my column in your database table so you can uh, if you go in phoenix log you can see there is a track so you can for any change there will be a track that what you have actually changed in your database so you can see that my add is and first name to students this has been changed or add in this time so there is a track so now uh, let's remove these two field age and first name using the migration I will not delete it manually I will just create a migration file in here I'm giving here CAC migration and then uh, I'll remove so there is I will add the use this uh, class called remove so this is actually important when you will use add field you have to write add so when you will use the remove you will you have to write like this remove so remove field names for example age and first First name from students and then after giving a space I'm just mentioning the age then giving a space then giving the first name hit on enter file will be created here so this is the removed age and this two and first name the class has been created and you can see the remove column age and remove column first name these two method has added in here so when you will give the remove in here in command in here when you, you use this remove so you can see uh, this change method and also this uh, remove uh, uh, remove column these two method also generate uh, created for this field so now after save let's give the command again so we just give this command cag back migrations cag migrations migrate so i'm just giving this command cag migrations migrate need an enter so let's go these two fields should be go so you can see these two fields has managed so if you go in phoenix log you can see that has been updated this remove age and name from a student so now if you think that okay let's give again this comma then what will happen hack migration migrate so hit hit on enter so you can see that uh, what happened okay no in updated has happened so let's give this comma again so you can see that uh, there is no in updated actually all done and uh, there is no any uh, execution actually happen if you go in your database this phoenix log you can see there is no any updated so whatever change you have made now in this year for example i have just want to change this i want to change this age integer to a string i'm just manually changing it in here in file so after change if you go in here now let's see in your student table and then you can see there is no any age or there is there is no any uh, first name field in here i also change in in this file so now if you give this call common cac migration migrate then actually nothing happened so if you go in here you cannot see anything in here because this file has a log in here so if you change this log this is not a good practice everything when you will do everything you have to create a new file or new migration file every time for example i'm just changing this or removing this from here uh, changing this migration uh, okay 
So this is the version. I'm changing also the version. Okay, battery is removed. It. Okay, I just removed it. So now, if you go, now it will work. So if you go get migration migrate, then let's go in here. Let's go in students folder. You can see the first and age and first term has been created, and age is hardcut now. So that's happened because I have uh, removed this uh, add an age first name to student uh, from this table. So that has again generated in here. So this is the procedure how you can add new column and also can remove column from your database table using migration file. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next.